All right. All right, we are taking a left onto Franklin, and when you think of Franklin, think gram positive cox eye. So when we turn on to Franklin here, everything else from here on out is going to be gram positive at cox eye. Watch this wicked u turn. Wicked! That's wicked. People watching this video are gonna have a headache. Oh. Is that going to be included? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are on Truman's campus. We turned off of Franklin. And so since we are on Franklin, think gram positive cocci. And this is where the Truman's nurses station is. And in order to run the nurses station, you're going to need a lot of staff. Think staff lacacus. And that red cross doesn't just indicate that you need a staff to run a nurses station. It also indicates a positive, think all staff are catalase positive. Meow, 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 meow. So think all staff are catalase positive. So here we are up at the Truman Athletic Fields, and usually playing baseball are short men. So I want you to think men that are short are not men that are tall. These are non mannitol fermenters. And they are also, these next two bacteria are both catalase positive. I love the catalyst cat. And our first bacteria up here is Staph epidermidis. Look at that epidermidis, ladies. Mm. That is one sexy man beast. <laughs> Woo, look at that epidermidis. And the best thing about that epidermidis is there are no cuts on it at all. There's no blood. It is coagulase negative. And you know what else that epidermidis guys like to do? They like to run around and he's running around a tree. So our next bacteria, is Saprolophyticus. He's running around a sapling. Think Saprophyticus. And the thing about Saprophyticus is it is also Nova Bison resistant. Look at that bison. So on the right side of the street, we had Steph Epidermidus by the athletic fields and Saprophyticus. And here on the left side of the street, we have uh, a fraternity, and in this fraternity, there's only men, because it's a fraternity, and there's only tall men. No short men are allowed. Hey guys, can I join your fraternity? Sorry. No. No. You're not a tall man. Like us. So I want you to think that these guys are man of tall fermenters. They are tall men. And the other thing about being at a fraternity, sometimes the parties get a little out of hand, and you're liable to get in a fight and be punched in the aureus! Hey you, let's fight, we're in a fraternity, let's do it! Oh, oh it's aureus, no, no! Cool. All right, like, sorry. So, oh, so when you get punched in the aureus, you're gonna think blood, and when you think blood, I want you to think coagulase positive. Oh, it's aureus, no! Oh, coagulase positive, no! Oh! oh. So if you get punched in the aureus, you're probably going to bleed a lot. You're going to be bleeding everywhere. Oh, he's ble oh, it's aureus, no! And if there's blood, I want you to think coagulase positive. Staph aureus is coagulase positive. Think blood, think coagulase positive, staph aureus. <laughs> so we came down Franklin and we're on one of the main strips through town. Strips? I want you to think streptococcus. And we have a choice now that we're on Truman's campus here about where we can go. We can go over to the athletic center and athletes, I want you to think of alpha hemolytic. Or we can go over to the library, which is back behind this building. And if you're at the library, I want you to think of books, beta hemolytic. And if you head straight down the strip, uh, you're gonna be indifferent. So I don't know what kind of hemolysis that is. Okay, so here we are at the Truman Rec Center, and when you think of working out, I want you to think of athletes, alpha hemolytic. And there's two types of workouts. There are aerobic workouts, so I want you to think strep pneumonia. It causes pneumonia, moving oxygen in and out. And also, I want you to notice uh, the extra chin here. He's optichin sensitive. So strep pneumonia, aerobic, and he is optichin sensitive. And over here, 
we have the mighty Midas. And if you notice, he has no extra chin. He is not optichin sensitive. He's optichin resistant. Here we are outside of the Truman Library and there's lots of books in there. So I want you to think that these bacteria are beta hemolytic. Books think beta hemolytic. And group A personalities often would be found in a library. You know, they're gonna be in there, they're gonna try to get their basic training in, try to learn all the things. Think basic training, bacitracin sensitive. So group A personalities, group A strep, beta hemolytic, uh, bacitracin sensitive. And what they're going to be studying, they're going to be studying pi. So think streptococcus pyogenes. Group A, strep pyogenes in the library, beta hemolytic. Now, type group people are not going to be in the library. They're going to be out here, they're going to be goofing around, they're not going to be studying. They're going to be, oh, I don't know, talking to a gal. Hey, a gal. So think A. Galactia is group B strep that is also beta hemolytic and bacitracin resistant. No basic training for people who are not in the library. So we're coming down the strip, so still think strip, ah, shoot. So we're driving down Franklin still and I want you to think of gram positive cocci. And we're at the Taekwondo studio. And if you've ever done Taekwondo, which I haven't, you'll know that it is an aerobic activity. So what hangs out at the Taekwondo studio? It's Enterococcus fecalis. Think fecal material, fecalis. And a great karate move is kicking someone in the butt. hi -ya! Ha! <laughs> All right, that didn't hurt, but that was great. Good? Mm -hmm. So you're coming down the strip, I want you to think of streptococcus, and we're now at Poly Eyes, and we're on the left side of the street, so I want you to think of anaerobes. Usually if you're eating some pizza, you're drinking a few beers, you're maybe smoking a few cigarettes, that's an anaerobic activity. And Poly Eyes has the biggest pizza in town, the boss, and something's really big, I want you to think streptococcus magnus, it's the biggest magnus. Okay, yeah.